All right, man, this is the first part of my LA vlog. I was told that, you know, we do some pretty cool shit. So this will just be the first part of this. Going to LA for Walmart Network collaboration. Uh, Midwest Kids. This should be fun. See, I want some company. Every night, every day, every day, patches the night up. Oh God, you should match it, it's the KO No way I just feel I put my 28th up 1990, my family had that Alright man, we finally made it to the room This is actually nice as hell Um, excuse my jacket I kinda came in already and took my shit out But the room is actually nice as fuck Um Yeah man Big ass balcony right across from the CNN tower or building, whatever it's called. I don't know what it is, but I will tell you right now we in Hollywood. Um, the uh, Lakers game, we about to actually leave out. Go meet everybody up there. It was kind of different, man, to just be sent back. Trying to vlog your trip and shit like that when you're not like used to it but i'm getting used to it it's not electric this shit got stuff can you catch it the virgin just keep one of 150 check the leverage got two twins they top tier that's my favorite fetish he been a throw to she tear i'm a favorite beverage been out of time makes it in this man i can't retire been on a road collecting rubber bands we at the game time to celebrate with our with our first we gonna go modelo and shot of wait actually what is this what are we taking a shot at? Oh, it is tequila, so stay with tequila. Stay with tequila. Man, look, man. What yeah. you be saying? You gotta say it. You gotta say it. Let's do it again. If I don't get to do it again, I'll never do it again. Hey. Trying to get back on your snatch here. Okay, big. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to Leaving the Lakers game. Headed to the car service. Feel me? Jumping the whip. Dinner tonight. Um, game was amazing, man. I have nothing bad to say about that at all. I, mean, I wish I could turn the camera around. I'm filming, but. Dinner is chefing, bro. The arena, you see where they got, you see where they got Naomi? This how I know this, this how you know this my mom and she love me. Through all that, she stand on the other line, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call. Right. This is day two of the LA vlog. I'm hungry as fuck. Like, I woke up today, like, starving, dog. Day one, we just kind of flew in yesterday. Of course, got situated, got to the room. Went to a Laker game. We also went to some spot called Dan Tennis. Um, it's actually pretty good. Try to get up real quick. I seen those at McDonald's about 10, um, 10 minutes away on foot. I don't really feel like that's like an Uber type of car. So I'm about to walk to the McDonald's, grab me some breakfast. Um, hopefully get like a fit pick off because I've been telling myself the whole time I'm here. I'm going to try to at least get one fit off like or something like I got to like start getting in my content creating back. Another thing I want to say is anybody who content creates, I want to say, man, shout out to y'all because this is not easy. Like it's not as easy as a person might think it is. Like you might think that just hopping in front of the camera and just talking is comfortable, but it's not. And then on top of all that, you got to train yourself to record everything that you're doing which is something I'm not particularly like familiar with or like comfortable with. So I guess just over time trying to do it, forcing myself to do it, I'm going to be able to get it done. But as of right now, man, this is definitely something new, but, but we got a meeting. We got to go to, to talk to some guy. Um, That's at 11 just for some apparel and stuff and some manufacturing and stuff like that. That's at 11. And then we have, 
the network Walmart um, release. That's from like 1 to 6.30. It's like a live. It's on the app. So we're going to be there from like 1 to 6.30. Then tonight, it's supposed to be a party. So I'm going to go to that. So, I mean, come with me. Dog, it is 8 a.m. Right. I'll say this about LA. This is like one of the first cities I personally fell in love with. It's not as popular as New York. Like, it's popping though. Don't get it twisted. But New York is different, bro. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but LA, it just got like that. It looked beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's warm all the time. You can do damn near anything. You can go to a motherfucking beach, go to a movie, do, do some whole other shit all in one day. Got some food in my system, got a shower. Like I said earlier, I'm about to go get this fit pick off. The sun is like beaming right now. I'm on the balcony. I found this location while I was walking. I'm about to show y'all. Actually, it's down there. It's like down there. You can't, you ain't gonna be re really able to see it, but I got my Tim's, you know, I'm about to go with like, like the Yachty look, you know, how everybody kind of like wearing the Tim's and stuff. I know people don't really like that right now, but to be completely honest, I don't give a fuck. This crazy. That means we about to be leaving before we thought we were. Yeah, cause they said six. They said six. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, but I will say this though. Being here the last couple of days made me realize that people don't get opportunities like this. They don't. And That's why it's disrespectful to not really go hard, like, like. It's disrespectful dog. to play with the opportunity. Bro. What? Like you crazy though. Right. You know what I mean? You can't really play with stuff like that though. Okay, this ain't happening for this moment. Mm -hmm. It ain't regular. <laughs> At all. <laughs> not regular. Especially for. To so be. Like when you that blessed, it's like white play. Dog is just wrapped up, filming. Man, this is really crazy. Think about someone definitely won the jacket. Um, shout out to everybody who actually like logged on and went for the whole auction. Shout out to everybody who went to the Walmart side and did the pre-order on the shirts. It's actually crazy now. You got to do a pre-order on the shirt, but shout out to y'all, man. I know they're going to be ready to spin. Oh, yeah. They're going to be ready to spin the block. They're going to be like, yo, we got to spin the block. I can't believe it, man. I really can't believe that. Yeah, bro, you killed that. I ain't going to lie, bro. You killed that. You murdered that straight up. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. Niggas, niggas, I feel like a Barbie. <laughs> 
got the top down in this bitch. Move. All right, man, as you can see, I'm staying in Hollywood, but I just left, so I'm really, really hungry. I just came across this hibachi truck. I always see it online. I feel like I ate here before, so I'm about to try to order some of this and see exactly what it's saying, bro. Yeah, I feel like I ate here before, though, like, but last time I was here, I feel like I actually had hibachi. I don't remember if it was, like, good or if it was bad. I do remember I had this shit before, so I just ordered a side of fried rice. I'm about to go grab me something to drink somewhere, man. I'm about to head back to the room. It's actually a 7-Eleven at the corner, so that's actually where I'm about to go. I'm about to stop at a 7-Eleven, um, across the street, and walk back to the room. It's crazy, man. Today, man, today was amazing, bro. Like, I can't really complain about nothing, man. God is so good, like. It just, like, look at the city, bro. Like, it's like, look. And, uh, it's just always motion. That's why I love coming here, man. Every time I come here, even if it's for work or something, it still feel like a vacation. <laughs> We're about to conclude the Cali work trip, dog. Yesterday, we went to um, this meeting um, with this manufacturer, actually, yesterday morning. Um, it was amazing, dog. A black-owned cotton manufacturer that's been in business since the 1800s. It's been in the family for mad generations. Uh, we met up with them yesterday, talk about some manufacturing stuff. And then when we left there, we went to, of course, the network Walmart launch. Um, we was there from like 1 to 6. Damn near like 1 to 6. We had like this live stream on the network app. That was crazy. Like the set, the design. And then we had like how we just pop in, bro. Like it was like super random. Like it's to the point where I'm starting to feel like, um, you know how they be like, Atlanta's not a real place. Like, I would like say that Los Angeles is not a real place only because two. Last night we we get back to the room after we do the network thing. And then he like, well, we about to pull up on my homie Anwar. He working on a he working on an album. Dog, when I say we put up, man, like it was like so random the people that was there. Dog, like I walked in, it was like. Um, Uno the activist, uh, it's Kaylin for real, for real, or Fr or Kalan Fr or whatever, and it was um Guap Dad four thousand. Um, I man, it was like a couple of different people in there, bro. But it was like completely random. Like we just in a in a studio with them, like five and smoking big gas, like shit crazy. The weed out here hit different, man. I'm about to actually get packed up. Um. Uh, right now and i'm about to find a dispensary grab some tree and then we about to get to the airport man it's time to get back home but it was so much stuff i couldn't necessarily record yesterday because of the fact that it's like the studio or like yesterday like the network walmart thing like some of that stuff isn't like wasn't out yet so i didn't want to like be the person that just have his camera out why these people have like full of productions and shit that they've been working on. They got real money invested in it. So, I mean, I got like a couple of clips that I added into this this clip, but for the most part, I just want to say thank you for tuning in and watching my very first vlog. Like like I said earlier in this clip, like being a um, content creator is not easy because it's just not something that's natural. You really got to train yourself. If you want something bad enough, you're going to do everything in your power to get good at it. Like, Michael Jordan first touched the ball, he wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne first start rapping, he wasn't good. But the more and more you repeat it, the repetition, it just makes you better. So, for this be my first YouTube vlog, it's more about me. You know what I'm saying? Less about, like, the world. It was more about me just trying to, like, break that barrier to get to a point where I wasn't scared to, like, talk on camera or wasn't scared to make content because – you don't necessarily know how the world going to receive you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, why is nobody around when you uploading that content? It feel like it's everybody looking at you. 
You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say thank y'all to everybody who stuck through this, watched it, found me, anything, man. Like, believe me, like, this year is definitely going to be a good experience because I'm, I'm going to make myself get as uncomfortable as possible in every situation. I want to say thank you to my big brother for letting me experience this. This was, as if y'all don't know, my big bro owns Midwest Kids, and I'm kind of like his junior designer. So I handle a lot of production for Daryl Brown. I have worked on like some Midwest Kids stuff in terms of, like the Hollister collab, man. And he always just bring me in on his projects. It's like he truly believed in me, seen something in me. He took me under his wing. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Like you, you, we, we need more people like that. We need more leaders. We need more people who are going to like, just try to like take somebody under their wing and help them figure it out. Like without him, a lot of things that um, I didn't did, like possibly really wouldn't have happened, man. He put that battery in my back, you know what I'm saying? So for him, I'm forever grateful, man, for shout out to Walmart Network for accommodating us. Shout out to my big brother for bringing me here, man, and letting me experience this with him. This has actually been crazy. Like, I can't even explain it, man. Like, seeing is truly believing, man. You can do anything you put your mind to. All you gotta do is just go for it. That is it. Major snow, bro. Yeah, I'm like, wow, we going from LA. I'm gonna walk around with a t-shirt. <laughs> now I'm about to go back to like inches of snow. So this should be crazy. We have to strip this. What? Had to come out a jacket, hoodie, everything. Yeah, definitely. Oh God. <laughs> Do you ever do this? Like when I'm about to put my thing on, I be looking at who you doing. I said with two black chairs. I said, "Oh, we straight." I don't be looking, but I be look when I get out. When I get done, like doing my hands up like this. As soon as I get out, I like look to see if my bag then went through the yeah, little yeah, carousel. Yeah, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy. My cousins like book. Life is amazing. It is what it should be. Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in tussies. Well, for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and a little baby that going crazy. Weezy produced it, and Weezy had made me, and she held it down, so she got a Mercedes. Your money records, the army, the navy, they ran me 10,000. I threw it like.